Okay, we're going to continue our discussion with a Simulink MATLAB tutorial. And here we're going to, in this case, we're going to do a low pass filter. So let's do a quick review. So here we have a transfer function, output over input, described by this H of S, and we call that the transfer function. And we use the simple RC circuit to implement this low pass filter. And it turns out that the equation will be 1 over RC, S plus 1 over RC, which is like the Laplace domain description for this input output relationship. S is a complex number. And for sinusoidal signals, sines are cosine inputs, then we have S can be approximate with J omega. And when we do that, we have this relationship. And we can see that this is just a complex number. Here in the numerator is just the real part. And in the denominator, we have a real part and imaginary part, or simply a complex number. So finding the magnitude in the numerator is just 1 over RC. And to find the magnitude of the denominator, we follow the standard process of squaring the real part, square the imaginary part, and then taking the square root of them after we add these two numbers. And then the corresponding angle is just simply the inverse tangent of omega over RC with a minus sign. Since the angle in the numerator is 0, and then we have an angle at the bottom, the minus sign appears for this when we complete this operation. Now we're going to do the simulate demo to demonstrate that this is low pass filter. But let me note here that this equation describes a low pass filter. So what, because when you input a uh, radian frequency of 0, which is basically DC, the amplitude or magnitude of this is just 1. And if you put omega equals infinity, which is high frequency, this is 0. So it passes the low frequencies by looking at these two extremes, and it rejects the high frequencies. Again, it passes the low and rejects the high. Now, when omega is equal to 1 over RC, which we call the cutoff frequency, and th in our example, it would be 10 radians per second in when we do the Simulink and MATLAB demo, then the magnitude decreases, or the magnitude decreases by 3 dB, or goes to the 0 0.707 point. And that's a quick review. OK, a quick review of what we did in our Simulink demo. And I'll add a couple things as well. Here we have our low pass filter, our sine wave input, and our scope. And we generated these from our library right here in Simulink. Now here, this is configured. We can see that 10 is equal to 1 over RC. So our cutoff frequency is 10 radians per second. And our input. We're going to change it to 1 radians per second with an amplitude of 5. And we're going to see what the output of the scope is. So when you do that, you get a run, and we get an amplitude of 5. So it passes that. Let's say we change the amplitude to 10. So the amplitude should decrease to the 0 0.707 point. So 5 times 0.7 is uh, 3.5. So I'll run this one, and we see it decreased. All right. And then we change the radian frequency to 100. It decreases even more. Now, just a quick note that I didn't show last time. Edit, undo is that we can, let me delete this, add another low pass filter in s cascade, and we can even decrease the amplitude even more. So uh, pace right here. So this is now a second order low pass filter. that right here. And if you run this, and you see the amplitude is even more. So let me delete this and show you that it'll start to increase. Okay. 
and you see it, the amplitude increased even more. Let's change the input frequency to 10 radians and just see so you can recognize that and then let's just add another low out Porter repeat what we did last time paste it Get that right there and there and run it and this should decrease even more and you see it decreased so adding more order filters will I'll start to approach an ideal low pass filter so there's a trade off between the complexity of the filter itself the filter network and uh, how you want to approach the ideal case so approaching the ideal case increases the complexity of the low pass filter so that concludes that demo so let's just see the MATLAB demo using the TF command and the Bode command. So now we're going to do a MATLAB demo in, in terms of what we did in the Simulink. So here our numerator is 10. Our denominator is 1 and 10. And we're going to create a transfer function using the TF command. So our system is defined as a transfer function for our numerator and denominator. So this is our syntax. So the first parameter is the numerator. The second parameter here is the denominator. And so what we should get is our transfer function of 10 s plus 10. Now we're going to draw a Bode plot so we can see the characteristics associated with um, this transfer function. So the command goes like this, Bode and our system definition. And that's all there is to it. And once you get a plot as a function of frequency is like this. So we have a low pass filter. You could see the cutoff frequency is 10 radians per second and that's our 0 .707 point and it rolls off at 20 dB per decade. We note here this is a phase plot and at the cut at the cutoff frequency it has a phase shift of negative 45 degrees and at higher frequencies it goes down to a maximum of a negative 90 degrees since this is a first order filter. And then when it passes the frequency there's very little phase shift or delay at the pass span of the low pass filter. And that's all there is to it with this Bode diagram. Again this roll off here is about 20 dB per decade. So you can see here's 20 dB and that's one decade right here. So let's create a second order filter like what we did in our Simulink. So our denominator is a pol we're going to use the poly command which forms a po polynomial coefficients. Alright so we have roots of minus 10 as our inputs so there's a second order and should give us our coefficients as follows as s squared 20s plus 100 so the numerator is 10 times 10 or 100 and our system is 2 second order is a transfer function of numerator and denominator and what there we have it s t squared 20 s plus 10 and the numerator is 100 and we'll do a Bode plot of sys 2 and our figure is right here and you could see the roll off is even more it's still at 10 radians but this time it goes at 20 40 40 db per decade and you can see at the cutoff frequency it's at 90 degrees since this is a second order filter. And that concludes this demonstration using MATLAB and the low pass filter.